up guys? Dave Action Jackson coming at you live. So I'm gonna talk about this for her. So this is a protein cake I just made. It took me like five minutes to put all these ingredients together. Um it's like 314 right now. And well I wanna tell you guys about it. Now when it comes to making protein cakes, so I made a couple. Um this one I'm on I'm not gonna lie, this one almost came out to be um it almost hit that hockey puck kind of texture. But I'm gonna tell you what I did because this is what you don't do. So um well first I'll tell you how it got that way. So if you're making a protein cake and you happen to stir it make sure that you don't do that let it cook how it's supposed to cook so depending on how your how your microwave is um depends how fluffy your protein cake is going to be now the ingredients i used for this one was one scoop of my um synthesis mint chocolate protein powder well first i sprayed the bowl so it wouldn't stick and then I use one scoop of um, synthetic protein, chocolate mint protein powder, two tablespoons of flour, because I don't have oat flour. I really don't want to blend any oats up to get oat flour because it's three o'clock in the morning and nobody uses a blender at three o'clock in the morning. Um, I use one tea, one teaspoon of baking powder. Uh table no half a tablespoon of baked um sweetened baking or cocoa powder i was gonna say baking powder but cocoa powder um an egg two teaspoons of vegetable oil now people like depending on what you like i guess some people use um olive oil some people use vegetable oil. Um, I use vegetable oil. Some people even use coconut oil. But it just depends on what you like, I guess. Or so per personal preference. Um, the last thing I did was I added a whole egg. And I whisked that together with, with a spoon. It smells good, but this whole pocket, hockey puck thing is killing me. Um, so, after about 30 seconds, I took it out of the microwave and to look at it, right, and, um, oh, no, I recently watched a video on, I guess, other people's protein cakes, and they had one inside of a bigger bowl, so I was like, I'm not gonna make it inside of a cup, I'm gonna make it into a bowl this time, because I'm kind of hungry, um, I didn't eat dinner, because I'm, I don't know, busy, but, um, yeah, it was a little bit bigger of a protein cake. It tastes good still, even though it's like somewhat moist. You can see the chocolate in it. Um, the dark chocolate parts is the unsweetened cocoa powder, but I added a little bit of sweetener in here. There are two teaspoons of sweetener. Um, yeah, um, the only thing I don't recommend is don't take it out of the microwave. I've heard people say it in a lot of other videos to take it out of the microwave, stir it up, and then put it back in there for like 90 seconds, and then BAM! Or 45 seconds, however long it's, however long they say. Um, don't do that unless you want to eat hockey puck for a protein cake. Um, if you add... Like, just leaving it for 45 seconds. 45 seconds total. Or 30 to 45 seconds max. Because sometimes it might be a little moist. Like, liquidy still. But, like, 5 seconds will probably fix that. Over anything. But anyways, guys. Yeah, this is my protein cake. is mint chocolate. Or chocolate mint. Whatever you want to call it. Um, It's bigger than all the other cakes I've eaten. So... But I'm kind of hungry, like I said. Um, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. 
couldn't go to sleep, so. I was watching some videos, and this just happened to pop in my head, so I was watching protein cake videos for, like, different recipes. I don't have any ingredients for other recipes. So, and since I'm cheap, I hate going to the store, I stick with what I have. Anyways, that's it, you guys, later. I'm out.